Hi ladies, how are you? Hey, I'm on. I'm sorry, I was having I was having computer problems. <laughs> ah. Anyway, sorry you guys, I was having some computer issues. I was having some internet issues, but I think everything is good. Susan was just calling me to see if I was here, and I am here. I am sorry. We've had some, I've had some internet issues. So sorry I'm running late. Hi Jane, hi Carla, hi Mary Kay, Linda, Tanya, Joni. How are you? Hi Renee, hi Care. Hi Vicki, Brenda, Ann. Hi Carrie. Hi Lynn, hi Tanya. Hi Amber. How are you guys? Hi Linda. Thanks to Hottie Popo, she was checking up. Hey Jess, how's it going? Hi Dale. <coughs> You're vaping an iced tea in there. Well, I was having some some internet issues. Hey Elizabeth. Hi Diana. You can yell. Nobody care. Hey Kathy. Well, I don't know what you guys want to work on today. I um I can show you some of the little medals I made. I have not. I have done. Very little crafting this week. I have had a busy week and very little crafting. <laughs> Aw, care. Hi, Clara. How are you? Hi, Annette. Hi, Little Crafty Creations by Michelle. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Michelle Scott. It was a fun hop. Hi, Brandy. What? Tell us, you're ridiculous. Tell us sex is yelling. You're so funny. So how's your week been, everybody? How has your week been? Mine, mine has been a little, a little crazy. Hey, Lisa. So I don't know if you guys, some of you guys saw my video for my video hop. That was ridiculous. So that was the hop. The hop is awesome. I have to tell you guys that that group creative arts collaboration is a really fun group to belong to. If any of you guys are interested in promoting your YouTube channel, it is a fun, fun group of creative people. It's really fun. So this week has been a good, hi CJ. Michelle says, hello, ladies. Oh my God, you're so funny. You're lurking, Alta. I hear you. You can lurk. Hi, Cassandra. Hi, Joyce. So if you guys chat me in all caps, are you? I will be happy to um, try to answer whatever you're going through. So I, do you remember when I did the, the paper... Um, the pen pal letter video that was supposed to be that was supposed to be hi Judy that was supposed to be for the hop okay so but this is how I work okay so you guys I was in the first two hops they had which were awesome and if you guys want to go over and join the group on Facebook it's called creative arts collaboration it was a group started actually by um, the lady who's the art Sherpa her name is Cinnamon Cooney, and it was started by her and um, I think Secret Soto. And it's a it's a group of people that are just that support each other on YouTube, and it's a great it's a collaborative group where you can you know for really experienced YouTube channel people and also very small YouTube channel artists. And people talk about all kinds of things there to do with promoting their YouTube channel and and. YouTube in general and so when all the hubbub came about over the monetization when all the hubbub came over the monetization changing right the YouTube partnership program they stepped up and you know we it was really talking a lot about helping um, new YouTube channels get some 
you know, to gain some views. So that's how the hop started was to support that. And it's just continued. I don't know if they're going to have, I don't know how many hops they're going to have, but that, the pen pal video, the pen pal mail video was the one that I originally did for that. Because you know what, you guys, I didn't read the instructions. The instructions were, the instructions were to select a YouTube artist that had been in one of the previous two hops that inspired you and create a project. Well, you guys, I make I make stuff out of trash, so I doubt very seriously I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna be inspiring anyone as far as like that, but. It was, um, it was, so I didn't read it correctly. So I made that pen pal mail hot, pen pal mail thing, and it was not the right thing. I was supposed to be making, I was supposed to be doing the inspiring thing. So I had to go back and figure out who I'd be inspired from. Well, happened to be walking through a parking lot on the same and I, I found those I found a whole bunch of rusted bottle caps in the ground I thought oh, I'm gonna do something with these so that was my inspiration the rest of bottle caps in the the rest of bottle caps in the street or in the parking lot so I've made a few, I've made a bunch more than this, but this is what I have on my desk. I I went to a friend's house a couple of days ago and did a little bit of crafting and I took my stuff and I think the majority of my stuff is in her car. Hi, Therese. So if you guys want to make along, I'll make a couple of these tonight. I had made one that I really love, but of course it's not here, but it's okay. I'll show it to you guys on, on Tuesday. So this was, you couldn't really see. Let me see if I can bring the thing in closer. Hi, Mary Lou. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Mars. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can get this thing to come in closer so you guys can see it. Let's see. I don't know how much closer. So, this is the one that I made for the hop. And, or this is the one that was the inspiration for the hop. And how well you can see it. And I think I'll put one of those little pins on it, those, um, Light bulb, light bulb, sort of, they look like light bulb shaped pens that you can hang on the back of a journal or you could loop it through something else. And this one says, sit still. I don't know. Can you see it? And then I made this one. I made several, but these are the ones that are left on my desk. Then I made this one in the thing, in the hop called, and this one says torn away. Yeah, these are birds outside. They're the birds of nature, Tammy. They're not my birds. <laughs> They're not my personal birds. Although my neighbor would would differ, her opinion would differ. She would tell you they're my personal birds. So. So, and these are just, and I, normally a bottle cap charm, you're going to use the, the part that folds over. But I liked the rusty look of these. You know, so. That's what I made for that video hop. So that's what came out today. That was ridiculous, you guys. Making them, I enjoyed doing it, but the whole the whole thing was ridiculous because the day that I went to film it, there's a massive solar storm. Oh, really, Trace? I had no idea. Well, the day that I went to make the video, I... It was like ridiculous because a high cat, because I don't make regular videos often enough anymore. I should get back to doing it. But because I don't make regular videos often enough anymore, it takes me longer than my normal videos. So what happened was the day that I went to make it, it was like 
I don't know. He was pretty ridiculous and um I don't know, the dogs went to barking and then once I, I made it like five times. So by the time I finished making it, I was just so over the whole thing. Do any of you guys have that issue? I mean it's so silly, but I definitely I was having a I was definitely having a day. So I may make a few of those with you guys today, if that if that sits well with everyone. And so that is what that's how my day's been going, that's how it's going. So if you guys want to make a long, you need some or you can just start making your components to get along to make a long. You need some I made some coffee dyed paper and you need some rusted bottle caps. Now I found a whole bunch of them in a parking lot. So I found them in a parking lot on a day that I went to help my friend move. Remember I was helping my friend move? And she wanted to take me to lunch. So we went to lunch and this parking lot that I parked in had all these rusted bottle caps. So I thought, oh, this is cool. So that is what I used. And all these flattened bottle caps. Now, I don't know whether the people like, I don't, because, you know, I don't know. What do you think? People just drive over the bottle caps in the parking lot? I mean, I have no idea. You're prepared for the zombies. What? Thanks, cat. No ham necklace. We could make a ham necklace if we wanted. I mean, I guess I'd have to find some ham first to make a ham necklace, but we could make a ham necklace for sure. We could make a ham necklace. Why not? But they can't. Some of them are super cool. Like, look at this one. This one has red on it. Isn't it cool? Got rusted in the parking lot. I don't know. So now I guess I'm going to be looking for rusted bottle caps in the parking lot all the time. And this one has. It's a Heineken one, kind of smashed. But I was. I want to take the plastic part. I, you know, you don't have to take the plastic part out of the inside, but I was going to. So if you guys want to make along, you can. You're gonna. <laughs> Lynn says she's just gonna. Hi, Charlene. Lynn says she's just gonna hide in her crafting hoard. She so, and nobody's gonna find her. So nobody finds her there. Or in case anybody's looking for you there, is that what you mean? So, so the day that I went to make the video, this is the most ridiculousness of stuff that's been going on with me. Day I go to make the video, my neighbor's dogs start incessantly barking. One take, I start coughing. Next take, the dogs start barking incessantly. The third take, Charlie starts barking incessantly. Like the fourth take, I don't know, whatever. But by the time that video that finally I got up was my fifth take. No, before the fourth take was the cat. So. We have um, a sliding glass door in our, you know, like all the bedrooms in our house have like patio style doors and they open up to the backyard. And for those of you that don't know, I live in Hawaii. And so, and we have no air conditioning. So, or heating for that matter. So if it's hot or cold, we just gotta go with it, right? Um, so, and take four, I hear the cat starts, you know how cats make that, uh, that low growl, that low guttural growl? That low guttural growl is coming from our cat who never does that. And I look up in the middle of my video and there is a stray cat, like a feral cat or, or somebody else's cat in my hallway. We have those patio doors off of our bedroom and I always leave it cracked for the dog to go in and out in another back door and the cat to go in another back door at least you know during the daytime and the cat I guess just decided to come in what are you you're on day four a birthday weekend okay guys before we say hi Edna oh, I'm happy that you're here everybody let's say Hello to Pat. Can everybody say hi, Pat? Pat, we love you, and we hope you're doing good. And we, 
We love you and we miss you talk chatting in our live streams, but we know that you're in your treatment. So everybody say hi to Pat. Hi, Helen. Oh, wow, Helen, you put, you packed a bunch of stuff to go to Goodwill. Oh, I was helping my, I helped my friend a little bit more. Hadi and I did that this week too. Everybody's saying, hello, Pat. Everybody's saying, hi, Pat. Amber, Ann, Linda, Tammy, Joyce, Carla, Tammy, Clara, Cassandra, Brandy, Scotty. You had your hand treatment and you had your treatment today, Scotty. Oh, Ann saying, hello. Joyce is, Sherry is, Kara is saying. Marcy is, Elizabeth is, Therese is. Hi, Therese. Hi, Diana. Helen, Diana saying hi, Helen saying hi, Charlene is, Tracy saying hi, Mary Kay saying hi, Edna saying hi, everybody sending you so much love, Pat, we love you, you took today off and Monday off, oh, Susan took today and Monday off. And you're going to plant a tomato garden. Oh, that's so awesome. Good for you. Everybody's saying you love. All right, you guys. Let it. Hi, Susan. Let's all sing happy birthday. Renee's saying hi, Pat. Lynn's saying hi. Everybody's saying hi. Let's all sing happy birthday to Hottie Popo. It is her birthday. And she's on day four. She's took off. She's on day. She's going to have a four-day epic birthday weekend. So everybody send love to Hottie Popo. It is her birthday. Anybody else celebrating their birthday? Anne, it's your birthday too? Oh, awesome. So it's Anne and Hottie Popo. Woo, both of you have the same birthday? Congratulations. All right, you guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Susan and Ann. Happy birthday to you and many more. Everybody's saying your birthday love. Hey, Shelly, how are you? Everybody's saying you love. Happy birthday, ladies. All right, I'm going to see if I can find my heat gun. I have to get my man gun in a minute. I have a few I can work on. Now these were just in the parking lot, which in their flat, which led me to believe somebody rolled, ran over them, and they are not rusty. Although I do have some cool rusty ones, and look at this rusty one. I like it. This one's a cool rusty piece too. It's blue. It says Aloha Brewing Company. So maybe I'll work on this one and leave the Aloha. Maybe I'll do the inside of this one and leave the Aloha Brewing Company alone. Hey everybody. <laughs> Lynn says, party like you're, not, like you're 29. Party like you're 29. Everybody, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. All right, well, I've got a couple of them I can work on. And then I'll try to, if I need to work on a few more, well. You may need to reboot, Johnny. I was having some internet issues earlier, too. That's why I, was, it, I had to reboot my whole internet system. It was not working for me. Well, I'll make a couple, and then we'll see where it goes from here. All right, so what I've done is I have... I'm going to take the green out of that. I have coffee dyed some paper. I put some a stamp, some stays on the stays on ink, some bits and pieces, and then just cut out. Used a one inch circle punch, but use what you have. You guys make you can make these out of. You don't have to use rusty bottle caps just because that's what I've used. Just because my thing is the rusty bottle cap. 
I hope you guys have a wonderful birthday. I hope you both have a wonderful birthday. You're planting a tomato garden, Susan? That sounds like awesome. Awesome sauce. How many of you guys have had a crazy weekend? I mean, a crazy week. It's just the weekend now, see? So how crazy my week is. Oh, you get a movie-sized box of cow tails? Oh, I used to eat those. They're a, definitely a, an acquired taste. Because you wanted the box? My daughter saved me the coolest box, but it's tiny. I can make the tiniest junk journal. Scotty says she's had the craziest week for sure. Scotty, you have to tell us a little bit more about that. Oh, cat! I have all kinds of ridiculousness. I, but I will tell you, the whole thing started because I was helping my friend move, and then she wanted to take me to lunch. So this other friend of mine, who I don't get to see very often, we all went to lunch We after we helped her do some stuff. And when we were coming out of the parking lot, there were all these, where I, when I was standing in the parking lot chatting with them before I got in the car with my friend, I saw all these rusty bottle caps, and I was like, oh, wow. I had to pick them up and I'm like, what am I going to do with them? And then I started thinking about um, you know, how I had to make that video. Now this one I think I'm going to put on the inside even though the other ones are on the outside because I like, look at the outside of this bottle cap. It's red. I don't know what it said. So. Oh no, you had the shingles. Oh no, I've had the shingles. They're, that they that is so. Uh, I'm so sorry, Tammy. Two new abandoned books. You guys, I haven't even bought myself an abandoned book. I want to make along, all because of Tracy. Tracy's Tracy's made me want to make along in that abandoned book series that. Um, Dee Dee Wellingham does, which I love. She does reverse collage. Well, she and she and Maridel Abrams, if you guys haven't gone over to the Mary Atier, she is definitely uh, making them like Tracy's making them. And if you guys haven't checked out Dee Dee Willingham, go check her out. You guys will love her. She's Dee Dee Willingham here on YouTube and on um, She's Inkwell on Ustream. So then I'm just going to glue my little piece inside, and I've been, I'm, I'm adding a touch of acrylic paint to mine. You guys do with it what you will. I'm adding a touch of acrylic paint. I saw you had a migraine APG. Oh my god, Mama, we love you. You guys, everybody send APG some love. She has been having a migraine. How long have you had it? You've had it a long time today, yeah? We have had it a long time. Well, we love you, Miss APG. Don't worry about chatting. We know you're here. We love you, girl. So. We know you. We, we love you. How many of you guys watched Scrappin' Lizzie? She did like an impromptu on Monday. She was so, I think it was Monday. You guys, I don't know when my days run together. Or was it yesterday? She was so funny. I love her so much. And she was singing. If you guys haven't been around for Scrappin' Lizzie singing, you don't know what you're missing. She, I love her. She has like such a bright light. Migraines do suck. I totally agree with you. So you guys go on over and check out that little video hop that, I, that I'm in. The, some of the artists are really new YouTube artists, and they don't even have, like, few of them have, like, very few subscribers. And their art is awesome. So 
I say go show them some go show them some love. Go show them some love. It's always nice when you feel some love from other artists, especially when you're new, right? Just gives you like a boost to keep making your art. So I'm gluing mine inside with some white, some clear tacky glue because you guys, I am going through and trying to use up all my stuff from my stash, and I do have just the oddest bits and pieces. I do. Yeah, let's use this. This is like a weirdly. some weird so these were just new ones that were in the parking lot on the and I pulled out some of the plastic some of them didn't even have it in there so you can rust your if you want yours rusty you can rust your own everything rusts here in the tropics so I don't have to do much I could just leave them alone for a little bit and they'll be rusty but <coughs> I've also rusted my stuff with vinegar and salt have you guys ever rusted your have you ever done tried to make some rusty rusty pieces with vinegar and salt anybody else try that some vinegar and salt it works for me you guys may have your own rust Maybe you have your own rest uh, remedy. You can also use ammonia. But no, I've used all kinds of different stuff for rest stuff. You put out a two minute video today, Mary Kay? Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'll have to watch. You guys, I am so behind on all the videos, all my YouTube videos. Usually I'm, I did get to watch Miss Vicky's today. Did you guys, anybody? watch Miss Messy Table Studios video today. She made a really cool video uh, decorating her custom keeper covers. And it was awesome. I did get to watch that. And I watched the videos from the video hop. I tried to support everyone in the video hop. You know, some of them are some of the YouTube artists that are involved in it. This one, this one was a smaller. The first two had a larger turnout for it. I think the first one's turnout was large because it was right in the middle of the hubbub of the right in the middle of the hubbub for the subscriber. You know, getting up your subscriber numbers. You've been watching Shirley Temple videos, Mary Kay? Awesome. Nana's giving some, Trace is giving some suggestions on migraine cures. You guys, for me, I just have to sleep it off because I can't really take much of anything and I have not tried the ghost pepper thing. But, all right, so you guys, I love my crocodile big bite. How many of you guys have one of those crocodile big bites? I love that. I love mine. Love it. I'm going to look for some words for the inside of my... For the inside of the... Like this one says good living. I'm going to look for some little words to put in this one. That's the next step. So I glued down my painted little bit of gold cheap acrylic painter on my rusty bottle cap. And I added the book page in, but I took it after the one inch circle, I cut it a little smaller and not totally even. And then I'm going to look for a word to go across in it, like a specific word that I want. And then I'll punch some holes and then add some resin and some stuff. You have the small crocodile. I'm your first video today. Oh, you're so sweet. You have six crocodiles? What? Six? I didn't even know they make six. 
Do they make six crocodiles, really? Oh, you got lucky at a garage sale? Oh, that's awesome. That's really awesome. That's super awesome. So, my sweet thing comes home tomorrow, and I'm so excited. You guys, we've missed her terribly. We have missed her terribly. And so... has been greatly missed. The cat has been like, instead of the cat usually sleeps with her, she has like a loft bed. The cat has been in bed with me. And so I'll be happy when she comes home. The cat will be happy when she comes home. But I will because sleeping with the cat and the dog is too much fun. Bye cat. We love you. Congratulations on your new house. We can't wait. I can't wait to see the pictures of it. I cannot wait to see the pictures of your new of your new house. You'll have to share it with us soon. You'll have to share it. So what kind of tomatoes are you planting, Suze? And happy birthday, by the way. And hello, Miss Bat. We love you. I'll be excited when I get to chat. When I get to chat with you. Big hugs, cat. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Wonderful, crafty, creative weekend. I hope you guys are I hope you guys are having like super the supery dupery is crappy weekend. How many of you guys have snow? I mean I saw some pictures, somebody wrote happy first day of spring and there were like these crazy pictures of the snow. I was like, uh, oh, forget that. All the more reason why I don't live in the snow anymore. I can't, you guys. Some people are meant for it. I'm not meant for it. I am not meant for it. I'm not meant for it. I'm just not. I'm just not meant for it. I can't. I can't handle the snow and the cold anymore. I used to. I used to live in a really cold place. I can't do it anymore. No more. No more. Everything looks awesome. All the all your fruit trees are blooming. Have you had sunny weather, Mary Kay? In Houston, is too. There's a little snow where you are, Mary Lou. Woo. I saw some pictures of Washington. That looked terrible. I have a friend that was going there for a conference and she sent me some pictures. I said, well, look at her. I'm glad it's you and not me. Because I, there's no way I want that. No way, Jose. No, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, thank you. It's funny when you start looking at the pages, what you find, and like just odd things to put in your. odd things to lay down in your collages. You're done with winter? 
I, you know what? I can relate. I can relate. I used to, you know, like, when it first snows, you're all excited because it's all beautiful. Then you're just like, what was I thinking? Why did I even want it to snow? And then it's so cold, you're just like, oh, forget this. I think this one was racy. I think this one was definitely racy. Just looking for, like, something cool. This one says crying now. This one says good living. This one says sit still. This one said torn away. Um, just trying to find something that would... You need some racy No care. I think this one is a little racy. Lila Race. Race, Race. So, what are you guys going to do for the weekend? Anybody got some big plans? Anybody got some good plans going on? So I got to catch Lizzie the other day, and I loved that. And I, I haven't really, and I, and I, I was on, I was up really late, and Stacy was still on at Pink Poodle Crafters, and so I chatted a little bit in there. You're going to an auction and an estate sale? Oh, Kathy, that sounds so exciting. You're gonna go see Mama Mia? Oh, that's awesome, Care. Hey, Emily. Hey, CJ. If I didn't say hi, hi, Sherry. I love Jessica Sherry. She's awesome. Your four-year-old granddaughter staying the night, Deb? Oh, that's fun. Good for you. Oh, Scotty, you're going to Rosemary Studio tomorrow and play. Oh, give Rosemary my love. I love Rosemary Morris. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, go and check her out. She's Rosemary Morris here on YouTube, and she is absolutely one of my favorite artists. One of my favorites. She has a really fun group on Facebook called Trashy Flowish Junk Journals. Or if it's, it might be called Flowish, is it called Flowish Trashy Junk Journals or Trashy Flowish Junk Journals? Wow, your daughter's out of her coma, Lisa. Oh my gosh, that is brilliant. It's so good news. Hi, Danya. Your best friend's having your her vows renewed, and you're gonna um, you're going to that. Well, Lisa, she doesn't have any plans. She's gonna watch a movie. CJ's gonna make some encaustic collage. That's really fun. You're shoveling snow, Marcy. Oh, no. <laughs> Kathy's saying to you, shh, Amber, shh, don't say anything. <laughs> oh. You thought you are eating calamari tomorrow, tomorrow, but you're doing calamari? Oh, please. We don't even want to talk about that. Lisa, that's such good news. We're sending love to your daughter. So much love. The auction you're going to has a Cricut Air and two brand new in a box. Woo! Yeah, definitely take some pictures and tell her that we all send her love. Oh, no, you're eating calamari right now. Oh, my gosh, Lynn, you're hilarious. Amber says, I know nothing. I know nothing. Hey, Jilly, how are you? Welcome, welcome.
Oh, Elizabeth, I'm sorry you're having a headache. You know, you're, a lot of people are having headaches. I think Jess was here. I thought I saw her say hi. Did I, am, I, am I seeing things? You guys, sometimes the days all run in together for me. I need one happy word. I need a happy word. I don't need a risque word. I've got lots of risque words in this one, but I, need, I just want one happy word, like love, but I haven't seen love in any of it. the word part. You ordered what? Well what did you get, Kathy? What did you get on eBay? What did you what did you get, Miss Ma'am? Have you guys seen Miss Linda McCollum's thing her uh Aloha Friday Keala? Have you guys seen her bird collage that she made? Happy Spring collage. It's in our Kathy Mama's group. It like rocks it out. It's like amazing. I loved it. I thought it was amazing. Such a talented artist, but I just loved what she did. Like she took her, her painting papers and made collages. You've got vintage papers, letters, postcards. Ooh, you name it, you bought it. Ooh, good for you. That's awesome. Well, this week flew by. I was planning on getting all this stuff done, and I didn't. You guys, I don't. I was like... It was what it was. I just had to, like... Let it go because I couldn't. It was whatever. Okay, let's say I need one more good word. One more good word. I love the bird too. Wasn't it awesome? Oh, Lynn, you have to go see. She made more than one bird. She made more than one collage, but she's just so, she's so talented. I loved it too, Kathy. You have to look at Linda's stuff. It's like, she posted it in Crafting Moms. I don't know where else she posted it. She could have posted it. Um, she could have posted it in uh, Jessica's group too, Giant Journal Connections. And if you guys are into, I'm sorry. The baby, the dog's going to bark because somebody else's dog is coming in our yard. So, normally I have somebody home with me, but there's nobody here. And that's the dog across the street barking, so that I can't do anything about. Um... I'm supposed to go to the movies with a friend, but we'll see. My daughter's coming home from work, so we'll hear the dog. My daughter. Shh, Charlie, stop. Charlie. Go to the door. She's home. Go get her. She's like, whenever one of us comes home, she, Charlie really goes for it. Charlie is going for it. So. Here says she got a great hey crafting Vicky, how are you? <laughs> if you guys haven't met Crafting Vicky, you guys have to go over and check out her channel. It's one of my fave, fave, fave artists. Vicky, I'm using it because I don't I don't know where my little ones are. So Kara said she got what did you do? You got what? I missed it. You got a was it good news from the um you got a phone call today that the insurance company said that they are paying three thousand more, one hundred percent payout. Woohoo! Oh, 
that's such good news. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, congratulations, Miss Care. I'm happy you're here, Miss Crafting Vicky. You guys go over and check out her channel. You're gonna love her. She is fantastically fabulous, and she lives in beautiful Canada. Is it cold where you are, Vic, or is it is it warm yet? Is it getting springy? Has the spring sprung? You guys, some of these things, some of the, the things are really racy. Some of them are really racy. I'm looking at it, it's like, what? Yeah, you guys go over and subby to her. You're gonna love her. You're gonna love hanging out with her. She's one of my faves. She's one of my faves. When I was very new to YouTube, which I'm not that old to YouTube, but um, when I was very new to YouTube, Vicky, I watched one of Vicky's videos and subbed to her channel. I don't remember even which the video was. She makes really cool, lots of cool stuff. But Vicky sent me some happy mail. And you guys, I was like so, so over the, over the moon. And I used it. And I will see if I can find the envelope she made. She made me the most, the coolest envelope. It was out, it was like an enormous, like a 9 by 12 size. It was a 9 by 12 size. The ins, I mean, she painted it and jelly printed on it and sent me a bunch of cool stuff in it. But the envelope that she made it out of, we don't have here. It was like a security envelope, but it was a 9 by 12 size, or, you know, like a big mailer size envelope of security envelope. And it was awesome. And I never forget that. I mean, she makes amazing things, though. So. Vicky lives in Montreal. You guys post where you're from. Everybody tell us all where you live. Tell us where you're at right now. I live in, my name is Shelly, and I live in Maui, Hawaii. Well, Vicki, I loved it. I have it in my own special stuff. Like, here's some things that I just keep for myself, because, you know what I mean? There's, you got to. So, everybody, tell us where you're from. Chicago, Southwest Florida. Maple Ridge, British Columbia. Pulaski, Virginia, Tampa, Florida, Nebraska, West Virginia, Vermont, Delaware, Texas, Minnesota, USA, Rhode Island, Canada, Cape, Cape Breton, San Francisco, Skunky McMurphy, crazy, Melbourne, Melbourne, Florida, Winnipeg, Manitoba. How's your new house coming along this year? Hey, Barbara, Missouri. Woo, pigs, Arkansas. <laughs> Scotty's from Arkansas. Mississippi, Melbourne, Florida, Northwest, Oregon. It's gonna snow tonight, Northwest Oregon. Oh no. West Virginia, North Carolina. Where do you live in North Carolina, Lori? Welcome. Raymore, Missouri, New Mexico, Muscle Shoals, Alabama, Carrie, I've been there. Tammy says she's from her own little world. Emily says she is from Fennelton, Pennsylvania. Brandon, Manitoba, Canada. Awesome, Jilly, welcome. Bluffton, South Carolina. You're from Wisconsin? Well, welcome. How do you say your name? Feliuk? Dale says she's from Edmonton, Alberta. Lots of Canadians. Awesome. We, we love, we love Canada. I love Canada. Canada is a beautiful country. Montreal is beautiful. I've been into Canada several times. I love it. We're going to vacation in Oregon this summer, Johnny. Ooh, New York, New York. That's right, my Miss Cassandra. How's your mama doing? Fairfax, Virginia. 
Rollsville, North Carolina. Well, we're happy you guys are all here with us. Thanks for chatting and hanging out. We are all grateful that you're all hanging out with us. All right, so I've put down a couple of words on my, and I don't worry that it's gonna totally stick down because I'm gonna use, I'm using diamond glaze, but you guys, if you have stickles, use that. The lady that inspired me to make these, she did her whole series of stuff. She didn't make these badges. It's probably who would make them. They're a little ridiculous, but I like them. Um, she made hers out of a, some sort of a, resin that you put under a, hot, a light heat lamp. You made her a Crafting Mama's Birthday book card book. You know, Cassandra, I completely forgot about our giveaway and I haven't, I don't know who's given and who hasn't, so I'll, I'll have to go through and watch we'll it on Tuesday. But it's still not too late to send Cassandra's mom a birthday card. She turned 94. So anybody that would like to send Olivia a 94th birthday card, you can go to our Crafting Mamas group and join in the giveaway fun. I mean, the show your Crafting Mamas love fun. How many cards did she get, Cassandra? Guys, I'm in love with this, this crop at all big bite. The only thing I wished is I wished that the, the smallest hole in the crop at all was even a little smaller. You know, I, I would like it to be a little smaller for me. It could be a little bit smaller as far as I'm concerned. A small hole on the crocodile big bite. Is it the same size hole as the one? Did they did both punch the same size holes, the small one and this one? You, Amber says she's gotten her 100 subby video up with the giveaway instructions. Awesome. You sent Olivia a card on Tuesday. Aww. She was surprised to get it today. Aww. That's awesome. Kathy says she wish she'd gotten the larger one. The smaller one doesn't punch the center hole. Oh, okay. One says the holes are the two most common eyelets. Well, I have some tiny eyelets, and these are like they wouldn't this wouldn't fit those I just wish that they had one hole that was smaller that's all that's just me though you guys that's just moi I wish there was I wish there was one that had just one I wish they had one little size smaller Well, if you punch a lot of holes, it's worth it. I mean, and you can look for them on sale. I mean, I'm sure. Can't you get these at like Joann's? And so I don't have any of that here. So I got mine. Because my sister gave me an Amazon gift card for my birthday. And then she promptly kept hounding me and asked me what I used it for. And I hadn't even done anything with it. So she was like, what are you buying? What are you buying? What are you buying? And I hadn't done anything. So I thought it was sort of a good, a good use for that. I thought it was a good use for the uh, gift card that she sent me. She can punch holes in anything, so you don't need it for bling. And you guys tell her what you use your crap it off for. You're going to sleep on the craft room floor, but... <coughs> it will cut leather, Lynn says. Well, it's cutting this metal, that's for sure.
It is cutting metal. That is for sure. So. And it cuts through thick fabric because I tried it when I had a big thick piece of uh, upholstery fabric. It cut through that, so I thought that was kind of cool. So, all right, now I need to make some jump rings. Make some split rings for my hole for the holes in my. I say that, but <laughs> guys, today I think that I need like. A vacation from myself how many of you guys ever feel like that like where you've just like you've, you've worked and you've done all kinds of stuff and then suddenly you're just like you have to you're just at a standstill you just have to be like okay I need some I need a break for myself how can you cut out tag to the crocodile I'm mean, it just punches holes it cuts really big holes in the top so you could put um, grommets in it I mean, it's really an eyelet. If you guys make anything with snaps, the big one you can use for snaps. Kathy said she got some Happy Meal today that had some vintage. Place cards that were perfect for journals. Ooh, good. Kathy's saying, you know, you can punch holes in them like five at a time, she's saying. Five at a time for your, if you want to use the crocodile big bite for making journaling tags. I need a vacation for myself, I swear. Elizabeth, I think you need to refresh. Because we are, somebody tell Elizabeth she needs to refresh. We're past whatever she's talking about. You're going to bring your hot hammock? Hammer needs a va I need a vacation from myself, tell, I'm telling you. Well, Kathy, you know, you can use regular bottle caps. You don't have to use rusty ones. I mean, you know. Just flatten them. You can flatten them with, with a hammer on a, and a wooden block. Flatten on the floor in your garage. Good night, Donia. We love you. Sending you big love. Your birthday's next Saturday. Ooh. So Donia says she's gonna go do. She's gonna do a live stream next Saturday, Donia, at 8 p.m. So everybody mark that on your calendar because it's her birthday. And she's gonna be doing a live stream. Girl, we're gonna be looking for you. Good night, Tony. A big hug. Big, big, big hugs. Big hugs. What about Japanese? Yeah, I have a Japanese bookbinding tool. Those are cool. But you guys, the really, if you're going to buy one, check the uh, the ratings on them, the reviews on them if you buy them online. Because some are better than others, and they have multiple size little punch part, the, I don't know, the tip that punches a hole. I don't know what the correct name for it is. This guy says she's not from Florida, but she watches the swamp people. These guys are so funny. Okay, so if you're gonna make these, you need some jump you need two jump rings at the top because you need for your fabric to you need one that's gonna I don't know if you can see it. Can you see? 
You need one this way and then one that goes across. You need two at the top. And if you're going to put stuff at the bottom, then you need them. Now, I made mine like split rings, you know, like a keychain ring where you go around and around. But you can just make them regular jump rings if you want. You don't have to make your split rings. Oh, hi, Pauline. How are you? Welcome. We're happy you're here. You're just going to say a quick hi and you're going to go hang out with your hubs? You should hang out with your hubs. It's Friday night. Right? Hi, Yvette. I didn't see you come in. Hi, <laughs> Popo says, hello, Pauline. Tell Klinger hello. How many of you guys have watched MASH? I used to love that show. Love it, loved it, loved it. It was hilarious. Love that show. So I have my plans for the weekend besides picking up my daughter are going to go to the airport tomorrow and get her, which we're all, we're all, we all miss her so much, is working on my altered book. So tomorrow, this week did not lend that to me to work on them as much as I'd like. Julie's asking, Sherry, are you getting some snow? <laughs> We're all coming to your house to craft, Suze. We're all coming. Tell Bet to get her coffee bar ready. Tell her to get her coffee bar ready. I'll buy some donuts on the way from the airport. What kind of birthday cake are you going to have, Suze? Are you having a birthday cake? What are you having? Sherry says they have four, a forecast of snow, but nothing else. <laughs> Trace, you're terrible. Terrible. Hey, hey, text Judy. Howdy to you, too. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but look, this the top part has two rings on it. Do you see one going this direction? One going this direction and one, let's see, and one going the sideway direction. So that way you can put your fabric through it. Hey Dixie, how are you? How are you, Miss Dixie? How are you? How are you? All right, so I put my I'm gonna put some jump rings on my pieces and. I am good. I am making some metals, Judy. Some I'm making some bottle cap metals. Sorry, I glued in something. This one has something super special on it, and I glued it in. I wanted it to go this way, and I wasn't paying any attention, and I glued in the words the wrong way. Because girls, it's how I'm rolling these days. Told you. 
I'm rolling. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm rolling. I'm rolling a little bit, a little bit off. <laughs> because donuts are a good group. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I thought, are we having a party at Susan's? I was telling her I'll bring the donuts. I'll bring the donuts. Gotta have donuts if you're having some coffee. Guys, donuts and coffee go together. <laughs> and Scotty said... You don't have donuts in Canada? It's fried cake, for goodness sake. You don't, really don't have donuts in Canada? Seriously? That, that can't be true. That's just, hey, Cheryl. Hey, Kathy. Kathy's saying, hi, Pat. She's sending you some love. <laughs> hi, Anna. Anna says they are the donuts in Canada. Okay. Lisa says they don't have the ones you'd want to eat. Okay. Renee says she's going to bring a little something for the coffee. Okay, Renee, we're going to count on you to do that. <laughs> they don't have any donuts, and they couldn't get... What were you telling somebody was saying? They needed some, some sort of crafting supply earlier. They couldn't get it where they were. <laughs> all the time, all the time. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hi, Liz. Your husband made funnel cakes? Oh, I like funnel cakes too. I love blueberry cake donuts too, Scotty. Those are some of my faves. I love apple cider donuts. Oh my gosh, yes. One of my daughters used to go, both my older daughters went to school in Vermont. They went to boarding school in Vermont for high school. And they used to make, you could get the best apple cider donuts ever. It's like, oh man, that that's just like, I don't know. Those are like amazing. Amazing, amazing. Apple cider donuts. All right, I got some jump rings going on here. Julie says, yes, they have donuts in all caps, okay? What are you guys talking about, bits? I missed that part. I'm not even going to ask what that is. I'm just going to, I'm going to pretend like I don't know what that is. <laughs> that is too much. The only thing about making these is you have to have your whole thing completed, like the bottom part, the embellishments that you have hanging off the bottom and everything before you even put any of your resin, you know, because you have to let it sit once you put your diamond glaze or your, or your two-part epoxy. How many of you guys have ever used two-part epoxy? I used to make um, resin jewelry out of two-part epoxy, the hardware store two-part epoxy. It's it's a little stinky, but once it dries, it doesn't smell, and you can sand it. It works really well. You can sand it to a glass finish, so you could use like proper um, jewelry polishing tools. And um, you can color it. You can color it with eyeshadow and with acrylic powders and pigments, all kinds of pigments. So if you've ever... I know many people can't get the same sort of supplies, but most everybody can get the hardware store two-part epoxy. Most everybody can get that. Well, they have a five-minute two-part epoxy trace, and then they have one that's longer. I think it's like a 15-minute or a 20-minute two-part epoxy, and that one gives you a little more play time, you know, a little bit more messing with the time. The only thing is, is you can't really you got to be really ready with all your components because um, it gets lots of bubbles in it and you want it to settle and you want it, you don't want it to harden before you can, you know, 
pop the bubbles. So I have made, one time I made a charm bracelet for a friend with all these photographs. I made all these, you know, bezels, which are like, you know, something to hold your pictures and stuff in. And she had uh, had all these beautiful old family photos, and it was her daughter's. I can't even remember what big birthday it was. And so she had asked me if I would make her daughter uh, a, a special something. So I took all these photos and I made all these bezels in all different sizes and put all these photos inside of them and then used two part epoxy and you know as like the resin and from then went back and polished it and everything and it was beautiful. It came out amazing. I used a, a jeweler's like a jeweler's Dremel tool, which we call a flex shaft, but I don't know what they may have other names for it. It made her just the most beautiful bracelet, and she really, she cherished it. She, I often hear from them. She tells me she wears it all the time. I think chicken and waffles is a southern thing. I don't, not everybody knows what it is. Malia, how are you, Mama? How are how? I love that little sweet picture you did of that you had in our group of uh, Lily. It was so sweet. How's baby Vera May? <laughs> this guy says. She makes fried cornbread, fried fried pies, and she says, "Hail, we even fried tofu here." Beer may doing good. She's such a ham. Ah, yes, fried green tomatoes. Awesome. They are awesome. They may not sound good, but if you've never had them, so worth it. Hi, Maia. I don't even know how you say your, is that how you say your name? Maia. Maia Stocks. How are you? Welcome. She's a ham necklace. Oh my gosh, she gives it hilarious. Fried ice cream. I love fried ice cream too. That's so awesome. Fried ice cream, yes. Hey, we fried turkeys in Texas. I don't know about you guys. We are having a great evening. How are you? You like fried pickles? I've had fried pickles. I enjoy fried pickles. Well, I'm going to try to finish one. I'll try to finish these. This one. I need bigger jump rings. I am... Um, Let me see. Hey, Barb Owen, how are you? You guys better all set your calendar for the first Friday in April. Seth Apter is coming for the first Friday in April. And for all of you like me who love Seth Apter, he's going to be on Barb's show. What are you working on, Miss Barb? How have you been? We're happy to see you. 
You bought a bunch of stuff from Hobby Lobby? Wow, then everything's marked down. You're just doing the usual. Are we still talking about fried food? You guys still, still do it. You're filming classes and YouTube videos. Well, I ordered a new camera. I haven't gotten it set up yet. It can't actually come in yesterday. The hush puppy's like fried cornmeal, Lisa. They're like... Uh, It's a southern thing. I haven't had a fried Snickers. Are they good? Barbara, a little bit obsessed talking about food. It's Susan's birthday, so we've all been talking about food. <laughs> Helen says, are y'all starting to see why everything is bigger in Texas? We even We either fry it or put cream gravy on it. Oh my gosh, so true. Good night, Diana. Big hugs. Hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we look forward to seeing you next week. We look forward to seeing you next week. You've been reading. We're all, we're just ridiculously talking about food. You would think that every person that comes here, nobody ever eats anything, but we. I mean, you know. You get nine dollar ink, Dixie, for ninety nine cents at Hobby Lobby. Woo! That's great. Good for you. Good for you. Okay, the jump ring thing, I should have just made big plain jump rings instead of making them, um, instead of making them um, split rings. But, you know, the only thing is that this is copper wire and I didn't work hard in it, and so I just didn't want it to come apart. So. You went to a crawfish bowl? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Charlie's even barking. You just like gravy? You reach for your phone, Kathy? No, I usually keep it here because of my kids. You just got love tackled off your stool by your 70 pound, pu 70 pound puppy. What kind of dog is it? What kind of dog is your new puppy, Trace? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start embellishing one. I may not finish them all because this one I po poked three holes in, and that's like a whole nother ridiculousness. But I could go ahead and I could go ahead and finish most of them. All right, let's see. So on this one, I put some chain because I have this big, huge roll of vintage chain that I don't even know what project I was working on. And this one, I put some thread. So let me just see what I'm going to put on these. This one doesn't have anything. I kind of liked it the way it was. So I just have to work out the top part. The one that says good living. And that one actually does have some glaze on it. These don't have anything. They need some beads or something. They need a little something. A little something, something. A little lot of something. Oh, wow, Kathy, that sounds amazing. Easter got canceled out by April Fool's. I know, isn't that ridiculous, right? So ridiculous. So do you guys have any big crafty plans? Like, anybody working on some big long-term project? I know Tracy's working on her... Uh... Tracy, you're working on your... Abandoned books. Tracy's got a lot of stuff going on. She's got a lot of 
she's got a lot of fun going on there for her. Anybody else working on some stuff like that? What else have you guys got? What else do you guys have going on? What else? These are like some crazy orange beads, which I like. They're sort of like orangey. Hmm. What's those? You guys don't store your beads like me. Mine are just in a big old bag right here, okay? Because I was making some all kinds of paper clip stuff. These are all like inexpensive seed beads and and stuff like that. And so that's what I've got going on here. Seed beads and then cheap, inexpensive plastic uh, glass beads. That's what they are. You guys are still talking about food? Oh no! You're going to make me hungry. Definitely, 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 definitely. Definitely hungry. All right, so let me figure out. Let me put this. I don't need this anymore. I'll put it in my. You guys have my little table so messy. I did get a new table, but I haven't set it up yet, so I'm like kind of failing there. Failing in the table compartment. Failing, failing, failing. Failing in the table. You're plant you're already planting, Judy? That's awesome. Good for you. Who else does a garden? Because I have like a sort of a perpetual small I have little little bits of stuff going on right now. I said she can't decide. She has a lot on her table. She started making charms and then tassels and a journal and then a Christmas journal. Girl, welcome to the club. You're working and lurking. Scotty makes some awesome charms. Haven't you guys seen Scotty's charms? She makes some cool charms. She's got some charms going on. She makes some keys and stuff like that. Malia said they should be planting, but the wet weather has the ground saturated. So. No, I'm just going to spit. I need a dowel. I need like bigger. I don't know what my bigger pliers are. This is what I get. I just need a dowel. I don't even need a big dowel. Let's see if this will work. I did not see the video. Who made the video making keys from drink cans? I did not see it. You mean like using a die cutting machine and making keys? Is that what you're talking about? Or are you talking about a different kind of, a different process of making keys? I did not, I missed it. I missed the whole thing. Uh, Your backyard snow, Jilly. Uh. You guys, there was a time in my life when I could do cold weather. I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> Lynn saying, if you have Netflix, Oh, some guy does a great stuff. He traced a skeleton key on the inside of a can. Oh, cool. I haven't seen it. Sounds like right up my alley, though. He's making it out of recycling. Lynn's saying, if you have Netflix, the British TV show called Money for Nothing is awesome. Lady picks out trash and gives it to artists, and they sell the art made from it. Oh, cool. Sounds awesome. Somebody posted a really cool video in Crafting Mamas of a guy who makes, like, chairs and 
footstools out of tires, which I thought that was really cool. I can't live in the cold anymore. I just can't. I've made, I've made everything out of cans, you guys. There was a time when I was like obsessed, 10 can everything, like 10 uh, soda can, aluminum can. But I think we all have those mild obsessions, right? Ah! So crazy, yeah? I'm just going to make some jump rings and not make them be uh, split rings so that I can put them on the bottom of my this is good maybe I'll make two a couple more so tell me about if I haven't seen any. Who did I see on YouTube that I thought was like, I was like, oh, I have to tell everyone about it. I can't remember now. I try to write, keep myself a notepad of things, but there's been some cool stuff. You bought bottle caps? I just found mine in the in the parking lot. But I get it. It does sound like a cool show. Heidi Popo said she saw a cool video on making a fake leather journal, a faux leather journal made with cardboard glycerin running them through an embossing sleeve. That sounds super awesome. I haven't seen it, but I bet it sounds awesome. Okay, so I'm going to use these three. I'm going to go ahead and put some chain through it, and then I'm going to hook them through my piece. How many of you guys watch Scrap and Lizzie? Love us in the details, yeah, it's true. Julie says, love is in the details. I may not even be able to put it through this one. I may have to just make a string it through something else because this wire is a little thick. Because I wasn't paying attention. I don't think it'll fit through. The, I don't think this chain will fit through it. Scotty, did you make your charms when you were teaching school? Or, or is this something, or this was an incarnation after you retired? I can't, I can't see good enough anymore, you guys. That's what happens. You get old and your eyesight goes. Either that or I need new glasses. Probably a little both, right? Have you guys seen Jessica make her... Jessica wrap two silver oranges? I love her. She's making boho... Boho um, snippet bracelets. Hey, Bet. Yeah, I need a magnifier. I also need better light. Today's overcast. Today is an overcast day. Today is a completely overcast day, so that's not good at all. 
Okay, let me find some thinner chain. I'm just going to put some chain and some beads on the bottom of this one. And let's see. Maybe a bead. Maybe a bead and some chain. Let's see. Let's see. And then I'll put my... And then I will put my... resin in it, put my fabric in my resin. Have you guys been watching Stacy Pink Food Crafter? I love watching. I, I don't often comment, because, but I'm there um, primarily because the chat, her chat goes by really fast. Boho Snippet Bracelet. Yeah, cuff. Really awesome. Go and watch Jessica. They're really, it's really, she makes them really beautiful. If you and if you've never made snippet rolls, it's super fun too. For all of you that are addicted to collecting fabric, which I don't know any of you. Do you know any of you that are addicted to collecting fabric? I saw this really cool thing today, which reminded me I, I was gonna share it with you, and then I had my internet issues when I tried to get on earlier and couldn't. But um. So, it was all about putting yourself first as women. It was all about um, self first and about self care. And it just reminded me, because I have to remind myself all the time, you know, putting yourself first doesn't mean that you're not thinking of anyone else. It just means that you have to put yourself in the equation. So, um, I was talking to this friend of mine who was going through, who's going through a, a health crisis at the moment. And she's an amazingly powerful, powerful woman. So powerful. And she, I was talking to her about like this challenge that she's going through. And you know, she just gently reminded me, or maybe not so gently, reminded me that if we don't put ourselves in the equation and we expect other people to honor that equation that we ourselves don't even put ourselves in, how, you know, how can we expect others to do what we don't do for ourselves? And, I mean, I, I know this is an old song, and I know all of you do too, but just hanging out with her and seeing her face this tremendous challenge in her life right now you know she just sort of reminded me in so many ways she said you know don't don't wait until you're facing something like i am to remember to include yourself you know to remember to remember um to include your own needs and so I'm just reminding all of you because, you know, we're all, we're all interconnected and what one of us goes through, many of us go through and some of us go through it, like my friend, much more publicly and others of us do it silently. So it's just a gentle reminder for all of us, caring for yourself first. Yes. You know, definitely, you know. I missed the laugh. I'm sorry. I was looking at my beads. What happened with the laugh? I missed the laugh, Scotty. What are you guys laughing about? Something fun, I hope. So just a gentle reminder. Self first. You know, self first, self first. We have been conditioned by society to put ourselves last, Julie. You're absolutely right. But you know, and I'm, you know, I love her, and she's probably one of the most, the strongest people I know. This woman, this friend of mine, and she was a single mom, and she raised five kids, and she is just a powerhouse and just an amazing, loving being, and 
you know, she's just going through really, and I don't know if she'll recover from it. You know, it's serious. But to sit with her, and instead of her being in like a space of, she was just in this space of like, if I can impart one thing to you, <laughs> self first, pick, include yourself. You know? But you're right, we don't. We don't include ourselves, right, Sherry? And we think somehow, you know, her big thing to me was we think somehow that by taking care of everyone else, somebody's going to step forward and take care of us. Like, it's that sort of like do unto others and whatever. And she's like, okay, that's a great saying. Do unto others as others do unto you. But she said, uh, if you aren't doing for yourself, Who's doing for you? And she said, you know, if you don't get selfish, I mean, she really sort of gave me like the, the riot act. She said, if you don't get selfish and start taking care of yourself, she said, nobody's going to step up to take care of you. And she said, and then you'll be facing what I'm facing, which is ridiculous. You know, because she said, why do we all have to, she said, it's a lesson. It's a, she was, she gave me what for you guys. But I'm just sharing it with you because I know that many of you are like me. And I don't know, maybe there's guilt associated with putting yourself first. Yeah, and it needs to stop. You hope you've raised your daughter to take care of herself first. But think about it. How do, how do your children really learn? They really learn through your own example, right? That's how most people learn, through example. They don't learn by us telling them. Scotty can totally vouch for that, being a teacher how long. I agree. Barb says, if you don't value yourself enough to take care of you, you've taught everyone around you that you don't have much value. That's so true. It's really... Yeah, but you know what my friend said to me, Malia? And I understand that because you're a mom and you're a new mom, right? It's just that... If you don't take care of you, if you don't put yourself in the equation, how do you have anything to give anyone else? I mean, that's basically what she said to me. You know, she was like, you know, it's all great to think that. And she goes, and also, too, she said, you know, by, you know, you guys, she's facing a, a, a very, very, very um, serious illness. Okay, but, but care, why should you feel guilty for taking care of you? If you don't take care of you, nobody's going to take care of you. You know, and so she she gave me she gave me a swift kick in the butt. I have to say, this week I haven't gotten much crafting done, but I've certainly done some stuff with her because I'm gonna miss her. You know, she's she's moving off the island for health reasons, and yeah. But it's think about this, okay? So if you're if you are your own your own your own source of energy, right? Your your health and well-being. If you don't add that into the equation, you won't have anything to give anyone else. So it's a lesson I'm learning too. I did not learn it from my mother. She took care of all of us and she was an amazing person and you know I told you guys all about her. Think we should all try to take an hour a day for us yes and report back next week i agree an hour a day is very little right to put into yourself so this is what her epiphany was she said to me that she realized a little too late my friend but that by taking care of herself it just empowers everyone around them, her to take care of themselves. And it also takes away the thought that only she can do it. Because she says, let's face it, I don't want to be the only one that can do all this. So... Yes, I was raised in the South too. Scotty says, because 
because we're raised in the South, she can speak for the South. We were raised to take care of our families at all costs to our own detriment. You're absolutely right. This Chase says it reminds her of her oldest daughter who was having a meltdown and she screamed, I'm not good at everything. But also, too, we're raising women, especially women, we're raising women to believe that they need to take care of everybody else's stuff, too, right? We're modeling that. And then we're modeling to our sons and our husbands that women take care of everything and they don't have to be responsible for anything. It stopped you dead in your tracks, I imagine. I agree, Cheryl. When I woo-woo, I take care of myself, too. Which, speaking of that, we'll do woo-woo soon. I know that I haven't finished any of these projects, but these are like sort of ongoing projects. And um, it, it, Care, we are all struggling with the same thing. Not just you, Mama. Not just you. We are all struggling with it. All of us. All of us. So that's sort of been my epiphany for the week. I mean seriously I love you gals and I know that I know that we have all we are all growing together all growing together so while I'm putting on the last touches of my my um, little charm here and I'll put some fabric on it just so that I can have completed one I want you guys to think about who you'd like to include in your woo-woo besides yourself, but always including yourself. Always including yourself. Oh no, Malia. I'm so sorry. I think we all do it. We're, we all do every. Yes, we are raised that way. I don't want my kids to repeat what I've done because it, it hasn't served me. Anna's saying the best thing for her was when she became her own best friend. Oh my gosh, Anna. That's so beautiful. Thanks for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that. That is so beautiful. That is so, so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Hi, Lucinda. Well, all I can say is that's been my week. You know, it's been it's been a little bittersweet. It's been like great, but it's also been a little bittersweet chatting with her and um you know, I've been helping her now for like a week and a half, I guess. Maybe a little bit longer getting her stuff, but I didn't you know, I didn't really ask her. I mean, I knew that she was leaving. I knew that she had um a heart problem. Like I knew that she found this sudden heart problem and she's not that old. Um, that she found this heart problem and I knew that she was like much more fatigued but then she shared with me this really serious problem that she has that I guess she hasn't really shared it with a lot of people but because I've been over there like I don't know every other day helping her with some stuff getting her house on the market so that she can you know move and the medical care here is not great guys so it's like if you get really sick this is not the place to be um, you get better medical care on the mainland. And I don't know what we were talking about. Actually, my partner and I were over there last night helping her. She needed some, like, odds and end things down, like, little bits and pieces for her house. Like, she needed a room. A room needed to be painted and just one room. And she couldn't. The problem with also living in the tropics is you can't find people to show up to help you sometimes. Like, workers like she wants to hire somebody but after like five 
phone calls and nobody shows up, then you're just kind of like, and she's not in good enough health to do it herself. And I'm, so, you know, I've been going over there and helping her with stuff. And so when she told me that she couldn't, that somebody didn't show up to just change something even I could do, a plumbing thing I could do, and I'm not a plumber. So we went over there and, and we were chatting with her and everything. Um, we were there kind of late last night helping her finish some stuff because her house is on the market and she's having another open house and what have you. So, I don't know. I just, I guess I finally said, why are you leaving? I said, you know, this is like, this really like is horrible because, you know, we've all been working so much that nobody's really gotten to spend time with each other. And, you know, I hate that I've only been able to spend time with you now that you're finally like moving and stuff. And she said, you know, I just want you to know how grateful I am that you, that you showed up to help me. And then I said, well, of course we'd help you. That's what friends are for. And then it just started this whole conversation of, like, why are you really leaving for her to tell me about this really serious illness that she has. And then she told me about the premonition that she had that, you know. And when I look back on the things that she shared with me over the past few weeks, um, she was telling me in a roundabout way, right? But I just... I guess I just wasn't putting two and two together. I wasn't wasn't focused on that. I was just focused on helping her get her stuff packed and what have you. Um, so, when I was there last night, she was giving me the whole 411 about taking care of myself. It was, it was wonderful, but it was also bittersweet, you know? You're changing at a faucet and fixing your kitchen sink. It is liberating to stand up for yourself. So I want you guys to think about who you want to include in the meditation. And for those of you that haven't been here, we're going to do meditation soon. I'm just going to finish this one. This one's just going to have the chain on it. I may put beads on it later. I am going to go ahead and put the fabric on because I know somebody's going to say, like, how do you do the fabric? And then I'll put the resin on. So the fabric's really easy, but see how you need two jump rings? You need one that goes inside, the, you know, up and down, and then you need one that goes sideways. Because you need to have something to put the um, fabric through. That's so beautiful, Anna. Anna says, it's easier when you can love yourself and know you're the best you can be. I agree. Anna, I agree. It's a lesson. Well, it's a lesson learned for me. You know, I, you know, I do practice self love, but I'm not. I could learn how to self love more, right? Because obviously, I'm not doing it 100, percent or I wouldn't have the ridiculousness going on. I have sometimes. Okay, you guys, think about who you want to include in the meditation. We're going to start in a few minutes, and you know, for those of you that are new and don't know we do meditation at the end of uh not all, every single one but a lot of my my crafting mama's live streams susan calls it the woo woo so i'm just i stripped a piece of fabric because i like this rough edge you cut it nice if you want and you can make it out of anything you know and I also cut a little piece for the top because when I was putting in my grommet on this one, it, you just need more substantial fabric. So, and then this is it. So this is the center of it. Okay, so here it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center and I'm going to gather it. And what I found worked best for me, but you do it your way, is if I go ahead and kind of pre-gather before I stick it through my jump ring even if it doesn't stay totally um uniform that works i also want to mention something else so last week we had somebody new in our meditation okay if this is not for you don't stay nobody's making you stay this is a voluntary thing it's something that i'm offering um free to all of you and i actually do it for a living so it's not like it's not like i'm um you know, I'm giving you something from my heart. And so if it's not for you, don't stay. I am in no way, shape, or form pushing my 
feelings or what I what works for me on you. Only you know best what works for you. Nobody else in this world can tell you what works best for you than you, right? So if it doesn't, hang on one second, I'm going to move the, Charlie, no. So if it doesn't work, if it doesn't, if it doesn't align with your belief system, don't stay, you know? And the other thing that I want to say is that, guys, it's only from the divine. And you, the divine can be called many names, whatever works for you. Some people call it God. Some people call it infinite spirit. Some people, you know, whatever you align yourself with is the energy in which you receive. Does that make sense? So whatever you align yourself with, the energy is what you receive. So it's not going against anyone else's belief system. <laughs> you thought we were going to say you're so hilarious. Um, hang on. <coughs> so I am not trying to... I'm not trying to impose anything on anyone. It, Barb is right. Barb says exactly. It is, I'm accessing the same energy that makes the grass grow. Exactly. You never found meditation too, try me? Well, what I do is a little different than the average meditation, but I just want to make it clear. If, you, if this doesn't work for you, don't stay. You know, don't. It's a choice. It's like watching a YouTube channel, right? If you don't, like what one artist is making, try another one. You know, it's not, you guys, we have been raised in such a, we've been raised in such a condition. Yeah, you've got great grammar, Barb. We've been raised in such a condition that we think it's either our, our way or no way. And, you know, I don't believe that at all. So, I'm just inviting you. This is not a mandatory thing. Nobody is forced to stay. Nobody is, you know, and if you don't want to stay, don't stay. And if you want to stay, great. And if you're, and if you're just sort of like mildly curious, just say, I don't want to receive the energy and you won't. And, but you can still listen and participate in the meditation. You may feel better afterwards because you'll realize we're all collectively um, connected, right? Kindred spirits collectively connected. But I just want to make it clear because last week somebody came in and they were new. And then at the end of the meditation, they were not very nice. And they just kept writing all kinds of nasty things. And I just thought to myself, you know, we can all say that we're one kind of person. But the, our actions speak louder than words. And I can't think of any evolved being that would come into anything and be not nice. Period. I mean, if you don't like it, leave. You have a choice. You have a choice, right? And if you think your way is, um, if you think your way is different and better, and start your own YouTube channel. Do it your way. My way of crafting is, I, I like crafting with recycling and trash. It doesn't make my way better than anybody else's way. It's just what I choose. You know? I love all the forms that the divine shows up in, in my life. I love nature, I love my family, my friends, and I love all of you. Even the ones that are not, don't, you know. You can't see what you're typing, Scotty, but you're spelling everything correctly. Yes, everyone has their own personal belief system. Challenged a little bit, and that's, it is good for you. But you know, the thing is... <laughs> Joni Miller, you know, I don't have an issue. You guys, I feel so blessed in my life. I feel like I have always, I've always had a very close connection to Christ. I have a very, very close connection to Christ. I don't usually talk about it, but might as well. Since last week was like so ridiculous and the lady was like, she got a little out of hand and I don't know, you know, we all are in the comfort of our own home and I, I find it hard to believe anybody would be rude to you in person, but 
You never know. Clara, the energy wasn't from me. It was from, yeah, it probably was from the, the, the person. She was very, um, yeah, the troll had an agenda and said, but this is my, hi, dust fairies. Um, but this is my thing is no being of light by any name you call it. If you call it the divine mother, if you call it Christ, if you're Hindu and you call it Ganesha, or Hanuman, or Shiva, or Parvati, or if you call it uh, uh, Wakantika in Native American, or uh, if you call it, an, if you're if you if you embrace um, the elements like Native Americans do, and you call it Father Sky, Mother Earth, nothing like that is ever going to have a negative connotation on anyone else. Unconditional love is that. And it wasn't really any drama, Julie. It was just at the end. It was in the, at the end of the meditation, or actually in the middle of the meditation, the person just it was just not nice. And But Susan took care of it. And so I'm just saying to you, I'm not here to challenge your belief systems. I am not here to, to do anything except offer what works Offer, offer love and offer I do feel strongly about it and I love people but I know for myself you're right and I do but you know what I also feel I feel like everyone has a choice so you can do what you need to do I am the captain of my own coloring book and I can hip lock. I can, Scotty, but you know, in the middle of when I'm in my own, like Zen, I'm just. They came back today and they must not have been offended. Look, I have no judgment. Do you guys, when I was a very small child and could see things other people couldn't see, I didn't know they couldn't see it. You know, and I. It's like everything is available to all of us at all the time, all the time. We just have to make a choice of whether we want to experience it or not. But I'm just telling all of you that are here, I'm only offering what I do because it has helped others. It helps me. Um, you know, we all come to this planet with, uh, with uh, a special gift. And some of us choose to not die with the music inside of us and others of us are just let it and you know I've kind of been forced here it's I'll have to tell you I've been forced here I, I know you guys love me thank you Cheryl I love you guys too but I'm just saying to you I am not here to challenge any of your beliefs Okay, none, none whatsoever. And I'm not here to challenge anything that you find works for you. I'm saying whatever you do for you is awesome. And you know you better than anyone else. And embrace what it is that you do. And I'm also offering, like, if you would like to try something to open your own uh, energy centers, or maybe there's something you want to let go of in your life. I know for me, every single day, you know, energy works like taking a bath. You know, meditation's like taking a bath. You have to do it. <laughs> you have to do it more than once. So you can't like do it once and it's like, right? It's like, if we could only take one bath a day, that would be probably, I mean, one bath in a lifetime, we'd be all probably, you know, but I'm just saying. So... I'm Mr. Drusa. I guess it's my coloring book. Yes, I'm offering a door they can open or not. You know, honestly, I don't usually share myself with everyone. I usually just do myself, right? And I told you guys when people ask me what I do, I always say I'm a writer or something because most people aren't interested in a writer just because I don't. It opens up stuff that I don't, you know? That's great. Tracy says she got a friend through AA after his meltdown about God. She said, I had to break it down that he could believe in doorknobs as long as he believed in something bigger than him. You know, 
That's all. But I'm just saying to you, you know. <laughs> Barbara says she has several beautiful glass doorknobs. You guys are so funny. Lynn says that she saw her doctor again and she cannot believe how long I can get my blood pressure, how, how low you can get your blood pressure by meditation. So Lynn was just doing the woo-woo says, and Lynn, you share your story. <laughs> Technically a doorknob is smaller. Oh my gosh. You guys are hilarious. Purple glass doorknob sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. I'm missing what some of you guys are writing because it, it, it's gone by a little bit too fast for me. Um, BZ said, for the first time ever, her mind was quieted. And and you have ADHD and it helped you so much. You're wel Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad your mind was quieted. Well, wait till you guys have this week. This week, I've been, as much as I've been going through my own stuff and my own sort of epiphany with my friend and being with her and seeing all the stuff she's going through. Um, I've been working on myself internally. I work on myself every day. I mean, as much as I can. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. So, you know, when I was a very small child, I had a very, very special relationship with um, Christ, I didn't know it was Christ because when you're a small child, you don't have, they don't have a name for it, right? And I don't know how old I was, but I was given this experience of unconditional love, the most powerful unconditional love that I'd ever experienced. I was young, very young. And it changed me. Then when I was older, Then when I was older, I had a similar experience. Oh, Lynn, that's awesome. Did you guys see what Lynn said? She said she doesn't have great eating habits in that she's been stressed and she had to, you know, go through a lot of stuff and she was waiting for some bad news on her blood work because she has blood pressure, high blood pressure. And her doctor wrote her back and says, no, everything's good. Keep up what you're doing. <laughs> Meditation to more people. Yeah, you have to believe in something bigger than you like magic. I agree. So then when I was probably in my, you guys must have been in my 30s, I had a, I had this similar experience with a very, it's the person that's on my phone, this picture. His name is Mayor Baba, and he lived, he passed away in the early 60s. I think um, I might have been, I don't know how old I was, but he passed away then. Here, I'll show you. Here's my screensaver on my phone. Um, hold on. I don't know. Anyway, I had the same experience, except the experience that I had with him was, it was, it lasted, it, first of all, it reminded me, here's the picture. It reminded me of what I it reminded me of my of what I had learned when I was a child, right? The experience that I'd had when I was a child. Now, you guys, he's long past. I mean, I, I haven't, I never met him. He, I think he passed when I was like two or three or I don't know. Anyway, it's been gone a while. And I can't exactly explain to you the whole phenomenon of how it happened or what had happened, but I had this crazy experience of this deep bliss and unconditional love. And it stayed with me. I was in this sort of euphoric state for, I want to say, at least three months. It was like every I could see the divine in everything. I could see I could see the divine in the trees. I could see the divine in the sky. I could see the divine in the dirt. I could see it. I lived in New York City. I could see it in the trash. I could see it. It was crazy. And I started having these experiences like, Something would tell me, just simply like move your phone over and then my phone would ring. Or I would think of someone and I would automatically see them. Or um, and it would be somebody I hadn't thought of in years. Or um, I don't know, all kinds of things. Like in New York City, if you've ever lived there, you have to street park. It's like... It 
it was ridiculous. It's like I I would I needed a parking place, and I would just think of a parking place. And then what? How? What I realized was, or when I tuned back in, because I was meditating all the time, then I heard, "This is a gift you can give anyone." And I didn't really, I didn't really understand what that meant, right? Like this is a gift that I could share with anyone. So then I started in my own practice, right? I started in my own practice sharing that energy, which is what I'm sharing with you, right? So, and people would see changes in their lives. People would come to me for, um, I always did in some sort of intuitive readings. People would come to me for an intuitive reading and I would give them a brief reading, but I would say, let's focus on this meditation, on this energy. And I would put myself in that same state that I was in, in that euphoric bliss, and I would share it. And you guys feel it. Right? Lynn says she went to the doctor's office last week and her blood pressure was high, and she said, Give me, had them give her five minutes, and she did her meditation and it went down. Woohoo, Lynn, good for you. See, Trace says she's always had fun, random experiences that she thought happened to everyone. Yes. Oh, that's so beautiful, Care. Care said um, her son just recently told her that he sees auras of people, and when they are emotionally falling apart, he feels the need just to listen to them and let them know they are loved. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to do our meditation. So I didn't add the diamond glaze, but this would be the next step, and maybe I'll work on them again on Tuesday. I don't know. I have so many projects. But um, you guys get the idea. Bring some bottle caps next week, and we'll make some more. So... So what happened was, here here I am doing this crafting thing with all of you, and one of you was having some, I don't remember what was exactly going on, and it just made me say I would share it with you, which surprised my partner. He was like, I can't believe you shared that. He goes, you know, that's awesome. I mean, I share it with my clients, but I don't necessarily put it out here like this. So... The only thing that you can receive by doing this is positive effects. As Lynn shared, lowering of her blood pressure. I'm excited that he shared it with you too. Um, I usually start at 9 p.m. I started at 9 p.m. Eastern time. I live in Hawaii, so it's a different time here, but um, we usually do the woo-woo at the very end. We try to do it at the end. Susan calls it the woo-woo. So you guys, if this isn't for you, don't stay. I'm not, you know, all big love, Judy. Big, big, big love. And we're happy you were here with us. Good night, dust fairies. If this isn't for you, then don't stay. But if it is for you, great. And if you want to try it out, try it out. Nothing, only positive things. Because when I'm asking you to receive love and peace and freedom, the freedom I'm asking you to receive is the ultimate freedom. The freedom from suffering, the freedom from worry, the freedom from whatever it is that you do to yourself, like our overthinking. So that's what we're inviting in. Bye, dust fairies. Big hugs. Well, we're happy you're hanging out with us. We love you, and we're happy that you ha you're hanging out with us. Okay, so for those that want please give me a thumbs up before we start our meditation. I appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. And thank you guys for hanging out with me and being here with me and sharing my journey. And I'm ha I feel so fortunate to share all of the journey with all of you. You know, Malia, all babies, all the babies that are coming now are turned on. I mean, they already know everything. They will share some of the most profound wisdom with you, and it's awesome. Yes, the Wee Wee does help you let go of anything that's hanging on, like uh, stress or anxiety or anything. It can be anything. It can even be like, I don't know, something you're not even aware of. It really does. So for those that want to stay, you're welcome. And those that don't, it's all good. No judgment. Not everything's right for everybody. <laughs> yes. 
Here, Hattie Popo says she's an expert at hanging on. She didn't let anything go. Yeah, you do, Susan. You totally let go. Are you kidding? You totally do. So think about this. What we're doing here during this meditation or during this, as Susan calls it, the woo-woo, is it's like taking a bath for your soul. It's like, like polishing and taking a bath for the inside of you. For the part of you that we don't always acknowledge, for the part of, the, of us that we sometimes neglect, it's that. Okay? So inhale through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. And the breath is audible. It's a yogic breath. Somebody said I sounded like Darth Vader. That made me laugh. I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> anyway, inhale through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. And while we're breathing, just bring to mind, and you only have to bring them to mind one time, anyone you'd like to include in this energy work. It can be your home, your pet, your job, your co-workers. It can be anything. You only have to bring them to mind once. On the inhale, receive. And on the exhale, release. Receive in love and release in love. Receive in love and release in love. Imagine yourself in a column of light. And when you look up, you can't see the end. And when you look down, you can't see the end. This is your column of light. It is unique to your being, soul, spirit. Allow your column of light to grow wider and wider and deeper and deeper with every inhale and every exhale. Allow your column of light to go deep, deep, deep in the earth. Give your column of light permission to enter into the heart of the earth. Give your column of light deep roots like old tree roots deep in the heart of the earth. Allow your roots to anchor itself deeper and even deeper and deeper into the heart of the earth. Allow your column of light to go one step further in anchoring itself even deeper. Let's ask the earth to bless us with her energy. I see this energy like beautiful golden light, but you can see it, feel it, Think it, or just know it, any way that works for you. See this beautiful golden light 
pouring through from the heart of the earth, through your column of light, through your feet and ankles, calves and knees, thighs and hips. Feel it filling the base of your spine, your lower abdomen, your waist, your heart, your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your elbows, and out every finger. Feel it filling your chest and back completely, every vertebra of your spine. Feel it filling your throat, the back of your neck, your face and your head, and feel it fountaining out the top of your head as high as you can imagine. Breathe it in. And take a moment to enjoy your connection to the earth. I'd like you to focus on the column of light above your head. Give your column of light the suggestion, heart of the central sun, heart of the divine, heart of the creator creation energy. And with that, your column of light is right there in the heart of the central sun, in the heart of the creation creator energy, in the heart of the divine in any form you choose. Give your column of light permission to have those same deep roots below your feet as you do above your head in this beautiful angelic realm. Let's ask the central sun heart of creator creation energy, the heart of the divine, to bless us with that energy, with their energy. I see this energy like beautiful diamonds, silvery diamond light, but you can see it, feel it, think it, or just know it any way that works for you. Feel this beautiful diamond light energy pouring through your column of light, mixing with your energy, your beautiful white light, and the earth's beautiful golden light. Feel it mixing and filling your head and face, your throat and neck, your shoulders, arms, wrists and hands, and out every finger. Feel it filling your chest, your back, your spine, waist, lower abdomen, and feel it pouring through your hips, thighs, knees, calves, and ankles, and out the bottom of your feet. Feel it filling every cell of your body. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Take a moment to enjoy your connection to heaven and to earth. Now I'd like you to focus on your point of light that's anchored deep in the heart of the creator creation energy, deep in the heart of the central sun. And on the inhale, I'd like you to receive peace, 
love, bliss, and freedom. That is focusing on that point of light way above your head in that angelic realm where your roots are already. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Focus six feet above your head. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Focus one foot above your head. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Focus on the point of light above your head, right at the very top of your scalp, the top of your head. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Focus on the point of light between your eyes. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Peace, love, bliss, and freedom. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Focus on your throat. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. 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 Focus on your heart. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. You see peace, love, bliss, and freedom. You 
receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Focus on your waist, the point of light at your waist. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. 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 Focus on your lower abdomen. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Focus on the base of your spine. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Focus one foot below your feet. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Focus six feet below your feet. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Focus on the heart of the earth. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. 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 I'd like you to focus on your heart and your hands and focus on your roots deep in the heart of the earth. And I want you to receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom and release anything in your body. No one
longer works for you. Ready? Receive in love and release in love. Receive in love. Release in love. Receive in love. Release in love. I would like you to imagine an infinity symbol and allow it to stand up and down like a figure eight. See it starting in the heart of the central sun, crossing through your heart, entering deep into the earth, crossing back through your heart and ending where it began. On the inhale, receive love from the earth, from the central sun, and from the heart of the divine in whatever form you believe. And on the exhale, give back love to the heart of the earth, to the central sun, and to the divine creator. Ready? Receive in love. And give in love. Receive in love. And give in love. Receive in love. And give in love. <coughs> and one more time. Receive and give. <clears throat> Focus on your hands and your heart and tell me when you can feel this energy. Now put your hands on your heart and allow yourself to give this energy directly into your heart through your hand. Ready? And when you feel ready, open your eyes and come back.
<clears throat> I'm pretty sure anything you'd like. Sorry for my cough. Mm -hmm. So good. <clears throat> It's some, it was some good energy. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it, BZ. So the reason you felt cold is we we were focusing more on our connection to the divine. <clears throat> we were focusing. So you know we're heaven. We're like earthly. We're heavenly beings in an earthly body, right? We're like heavenly beings and having a. Your hands and feet are tingly. Oh, very good. So tonight, and I just focused more on the connection we each have with the divine in whatever form we are choosing. And that's the energy that you're feeling. So we've just... Oh, you're welcome, Mary Lou. I love you girls. Thanks for going on my wild ride with me. <coughs> you keep yawning, which happens often. That's, that's really good, Barb. You know, many times, just what it means is that like another dimension or another level of yourself is allowing yourself to receive the energy. You feel really tingly tonight? Oh, good. Um, <clears throat> I often yawn when I'm going through uh, an experience like this, too. So, What it is is that your body personality is trying to grasp See, our body doesn't, doesn't, <clears throat> our body hasn't forgotten that we are heavenly bodies and earthly, heavenly beings in an earthly body, but our body personality itself, like our soul knows, but our body personality itself sometimes goes like, whoa, what is this? Like, this doesn't feel the same, right? And we're increasing, oh, top of your head's tingling, oh, awesome. So we're increasing the energy, and as you allow it to flow through your body, and as you release the things that don't work for you anymore, you're able to hold more and more light and hold more and more of you. Adi <laughs> Popa says it's the haircut, Trace. No, Trace, my head always buzzes. When you open your eyes, that's what you feel. That's awesome. You got exhausted, it's because a lot of energy is pouring through you. So Lynn, just make sure you're grounded. Make sure your cords are in the earth deep, 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 deep. It's because I pushed a lot of energy through your body and that's why. You can release it. You're welcome, Liz, love you. You're growing your hair out. I love your haircut, Tracy, it's awesome. You, well, you look fabulous all the time. You guys, I'm always around. <clears throat> yes, you can release anything that's holding on to you. You can release anything. And what's cool is, you guys have the seat. It's just under the guises of a craft and chat. But you can go to the TGIF Friday Hangout <laughs> and go in a little after two hours. I think it was probably like two hours and ten minutes or something. We started this woo-woo. So you can come back and listen to it anytime and release anything. <clears throat> You can release anything at any time. So, you know, don't be surprised after doing, you love the birds at the beginning. The, bird, the birds are outside, Brenda. I don't have any control over them. <laughs> they're here, and sometimes they're very loud. Um, They are very loud, and they were, one of them was like going for it tonight. You may find that your diet suddenly changes, like you suddenly don't feel like eating something you ate all the time. You, um... You may suddenly find that things that you crave something different, or maybe if you've been vegetarian or vegan your whole life, you may crave like eggs or meat. It's totally normal. Go with what your body tells you. Your body will tell you what it needs to assimilate the energy that you're feeling. Woohoo, Tracy said, she's just learned it's normal to grow a half an inch of hair in a month and she's over one inch. Woohoo! Good night. Good night, Scotty. Thank you for hanging out. Love you.
Yeah, you will crave, because it, you will crave protein on the super woo-woos. You know why? Because it's your body trying to, it's good to eat a lot of protein and drink a lot of water after these energy sessions because it helps your body to assimilate the energy into who you're, you're a little, we're huge, gigantic spiritual beings, sort of stuffed in a, in a tiny body. If you could really get a vision of how big you really are, you'd be like, wow, I know how big your energy is. Well, I love you girls so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being here with me. Thanks for being my crafty peeps. I promise I'll be a little bit more focused and try to finish these up. And uh, go find your rusty bottle caps. I mean, I'm digging them. I think they're kind of cool in the rusty thing. I mean, I didn't rust them, but I think they're cool the way they came. Good night, everyone. I love you guys more than you know. And I'm always around. You can always email me at craftingmamasinfo at gmail.com if you want to just chat or whatever. Make sure you join our Facebook group. It's available for anyone. You know, it's only a positive vibe group. You know, you can join and just show your crafty creations. All right, my loves. Thanks for hanging. You know, thanks for hanging. Thanks for being my crafty peeps. I love you girls. Love, love, love you. And I'm glad you're here with us, BZ. And I hope, I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. I'll be back Tuesday, same bat time, same bat channel. Yeah, come back and listen anytime. All right, love you girls. Good night, Shelly. Good night, Mary Lou. Good night, Cheryl, Trace, Barb, Brenda, Lynn, Julie, and it, Hattie Popo, Bet. Anybody you haven't seen. Good night, Scotty. Love you girls. Good night, Jane. Big love. All right, see you guys later. Aloha.